GastroCheck Gastrolyzer is a breath analysis monitor that can help you to find the cause of your gut discomfort, such as flatulence, bloating, and nausea. A breath test with the GastroCheck is quick, easy, and most importantly, non-invasive. It works by measuring the levels of hydrogen and methane on your breath that is produced when your gut breaks down food. Based on the levels of these gases, it can help to determine if you have a condition such as a food intolerance, malabsorption, or a bacterial overgrowth problem. Make sure the power cord is connected and the gastro check is switched on. The monitor will need about 30 minutes to warm up. Connect the sample line to the direct sample line connector. A click should be audible and attach the mouthpiece to the sample line. Press the breath test icon to begin the test. If you are using the gastro chart software to record the results, press capture reading now. An egg timer will be shown on screen while the sensor is zeroing. When prompted, inhale and hold your breath for the preset 15 seconds. The countdown will show on screen and beeps will sound during the last three seconds. Blow slowly into the mouthpiece, aiming to keep the arrow in the green section. The arrow will change color as the O2 level in the breath sample reduces to the target 15%, at which point it will turn green and the test will automatically stop after three seconds. If you feel like you are struggling to complete the breath test, you can stop early by pressing the end button. The final results will be shown on screen. Press the question mark for a visual indicator of the results. If a red unhappy face is displayed, it is recommended to retake another test. Press the back arrow to return to the results. If you are recording the results manually, note them now. Press the home button to return to the home screen where you can repeat a breath test if necessary. Readings and results can be interpreted using the interpretation wheel included with the GastroCheck. Place two clamps on the inlet and outlet, leaving them open. Attach a mouthpiece to the inlet and exhale gently into the bag until your lungs are nearly empty. When your lungs are nearly empty, close the clamp at the outlet. Continue to breathe, filling the bag, and then close the clamp at the inlet. Insert the blue plugs to make sure none of the breath sample is lost. Make sure the power cord is connected and the gastro check is switched on. The monitor will need about 30 minutes to warm up. Attach the moisture filter to the bag sample connector and press the breath bag icon to begin. Remove the blue plug from one end of the breath bag and attach to the moisture filter. Open the clamp on the inlet of the breath bag and press the next arrow to begin breath bag sampling. An egg timer will be shown on screen. Once zeroed, GastroCheck will automatically begin bag sampling for 45 seconds as indicated by a new egg timer and countdown. If you're using the GastroChart software to record the results, press Capture Reading now. The final results will be shown on screen. Press the question mark for a visual indicator of the results. If you are recording the results manually, note them now. Press the home button to return to the home screen where you can repeat a breath test if necessary. Readings and results can be interpreted using the interpretation wheel included with the gastro check. For infants or patients who struggle to hold their breath, there is also the option for a face mask breath test. Insert a blue plug into one end of the breath bag and insert the other end into the face mask adapter. Then attach the face mask. The 
patient should breathe normally into the face mask until the breath bag is filled. Make sure the monitor is plugged in at the mains and switched on at the back. Please note that calibration is only possible if the unit has been switched on for one hour. If not, a red cross circle is displayed on top of the calibration icon. Press Settings and then start the calibration process by pressing the calibration icon. An egg timer will display as the monitor zeroes. Do not connect the gas at this stage. Follow the instructions on screen to complete the calibration. Gas flow should be set to 1 litre per minute. A successful calibration will be indicated by a green tick. Remember to turn off the gas after calibration. Press the home icon to return to the home screen. A failed calibration will be indicated by a red cross. Press the retry icon to attempt calibration again. If the problem persists, see the troubleshooting section of the manual or call your local supplier of Bedfont products.